there are people who doctor has given prescription to eat good food they still died but the mercy of God kept you there is a church at my state when I came last year I saw that the church was built roofed I said ah village church we are there for the sea money hey. it was not just an ordinary roof so they said it was one young man that the pastor prayed for and God gave him connection he started building the church took the church to another level I was like wow just three days ago the young man died the young man died I don't know allegedly they say he's a courtist but some people said it was mistake someone took gun up to shoot to create awareness you know shoot as the person they carry and come down now they take gun shoot that's the way the Congo shoot the copy the man. Now please listen to me. Why the man was still struggling for life? The wife said, No, ah, my husband cannot die. Don't take my husband to hospital. Bring him to church. So that the roof can see. Him. They brought the man to church. Ignorantly, the pastor was praying for someone that was shot instead of the man to be taken to hospital. Please follow me. I'm going to show you something. And the man died inside church. And they were still praying for, for almost two hours. I was asked, Are these people mad? What am I trying to say? Because you build church for God does not mean you can die. Yes. It is God that is keeping you alive. It is not man. It is not your good works. Please. Let's stop taking entitlement. Say, God, this cannot happen to me after what I have done for you. And what? Do you know what God has done for you? God gave you bread. So if you put us give God, it's nothing. But I'm not saying it is bad to do for God. But I am saying, if not for the mercy of God, we can be consumed by this wicked war. There are so many people, misfortune has taken away. They didn't plan for it. It was, it was not the evil they did. It was the enemy that came and took them. There were people who were having headache. The headache took their life. The last time I checked, you were having headache. You just went and sleep. You woke up. That was the end of the headache. You didn't buy Panadol. You didn't buy Panacetamol. There are people who hit their leg on the stone. They cut off their neck. Some they took their life. But you hit your leg on the stone. You put it in a sound. How many of you remember? You put it in the sand. The next day you peel it off. You continue again. You didn't take eight years. There are people who take eight years. They still die. Today you are alive. It's not by your power. Today you are moving. It's not by your power. I don't, I don't care. Whether, whether it is God that did it for you. Whether it is not God. But thank the one you know. Who kept you alive. Your children are still complete. There is no money but they are still complete. That's the complete. Your husband is still around. When you look around, you see him around. Your wife is still around. When you around. That your son is still alive. When you look around, you see them alive. A living dog is better than a dead lion. Open your mouth. Appreciate the King of the Lord, Lord for life. Thank Him for life. Give Him glory. Just hold the street for me. 
is no money there is no food but you are still alive go ahead give him glory
the day will not say I will not pray because somebody died so you must continually to tell him God have mercy on me I am not qualified or just have mercy on me mercy and then where only you must follow me I don't want I am not worthy to be alive I am not worthy to God I am not perfect I am not righteous but God have mercy on me Sorry for me. So just pity, pity, pity for me. So boni ye kaho sari kako lo na mole no me o sari kawo na boga ni me o do sari ni we. Hold it. If I die, God, not for anything, but because of my children, just be, just be merciful. If I die, who will I leave these children for? I am alive, they are struggling. What about if I die? Because of my kids, God, have mercy on me. Have mercy. I am not worthy of living, but because of my children, because of my mother, because of my father, because of that one I am telling, just have mercy. Oh, amen. So, amen. So, amen. So that you that we are telling people take mine, nothing like God, they will not ask you. I thought you were the person that was closer than God. How come the same thing happened to you? How come? Where? What happened? Did your pastor not see it in vision? It's a time to have intimacy with God now. Let him know you are not perfect. Let him know you are not worthy. Your life is not a privilege. Just tell him you are even surprised you are still alive. That God continually to have mercy on I saw two people. One said, Before this year end, ah, nothing will make me know by this motto. Anything will take me. And one sat there and said, I just don't need a car. I just want to be here. I just want to be here why you are thinking to build a house some people know that if medication is not applied they might not see next month they might not see next month if medication is not applied some people know if they stop taking that drugs it's finished some people know if they stop going to check up it is finished next level it was fun it was inspiring it was educative the atmosphere was filled with God's presence nobody can love you more than you love yourself. One love, one family, and one atmosphere of God's power with God's anointed, Apostle Dr. Cassie Chukwu at Penial Miracle and Prophetic Arena. Don't forget the promises. Don't forget the prophecies. And he said, write down the vision. There are people that cannot pay sacrifice that you are paying for them. our Sunday service by 8 a.m. and Wednesday by 8 a.m. at 17 F. Boyoburu Street, oh. off 5th UA Lane M. Way, Benin City, Nigeria.